drawn from Notazake Shange's book titled Sassafras, Cypress, and Indigo. Hello and welcome to our very first and special broadcast episode presented by students from two leading universities, American University of Ras al Khaimah and Wayne State University in Detroit, USA. We are here today to celebrate the diversity of women, particularly in their ways of knowing. During our collaboration, our hope was to transcend beyond and shine a light into the parallel gates upon which a deeper understanding of women from all walks of life could be built. Our first guest, named Batul, but more belovedly known as Khaltu by her community, shared with us the story of her endearing marriage that was built upon a shared, tender love for cooking and how she grew as a cook over the years to make it her own. Our second guest, named Joanna, goes by Jo by her family and friends, and hails from the city of Detroit. We had the pleasure of getting to know her confident enthusiasm, which was entirely infectious, but what really stood out to us was when she mentioned her creative inspiration for cooking was entirely based on the well-being of her children. Join us now as we talk a deep dive into the role that cooking has played in the life of these women. Our guests first began with a simple yet sweet introduction of themselves. My name is Batul Umr al Farooq. I'm from Sudan and I live in Ras al Khaimah. Hi, how are you tonight? My name is Joe Haywood. Batul informed us of the historical relevance of her favorite dish. I love a dish called Farid. It's an Emirati dish. It actually existed even before the UAE was formed. Meanwhile, Joe wanted to share her own unique creation. I'm going to share my salmon stuff with my rendition of uh, spinach and um, cheese. It was interesting to hear about when these women had their first encounter with the dish that they've now grown to love. Bethul gave us a glimpse into her sweet marriage when she told us where she learned the recipe from. The first time I tried this dish was when my husband made it for me. When I first tasted it, I instantly fell in love and that inspired me to learn to make this dish. Joe's inspiration came about from wanting to experiment with healthier approaches to her dish, particularly for her kids and family. Well, it's something I came up with. I've always, when I go in the store, I've always seen people seeing um, salmons in the stores with stuffed stuffing or asparagus or something like that which I had no desire to do. So I always wanted to, you know, incorporate vegetables with the meal. So I figured that'd be easier for my family to eat, get their vegetables too. So I tried it one day and I loved it. Cultural significance can be a strong drive for anyone who aims to cultivate it into their own homes. Batul drew upon her national heritage. Because the recipe is a core part of the Emirates, the Emirates has become my second home. On the other hand, Jo shared a heartwarming, inspiring quote from her mother. Absolutely. My, my mother was a great cook. She was big on cooking. She was a wonderful cook. And she taught me you have to cook from the heart and what you have. And that's what I did. Cook from what I have, what I could, what I could come up with. And she said, you got to use your imagination. You can't always go by... Um, recipe and you won't you may fail at it and then you may not so you know you just got to go with the flow basically lastly we wanted to know how our guests felt about a woman's intuitiveness when they learn how to cook batul also excitedly agreed with our premise do you feel like it's an innate sense of knowing when you get ready to cook like do you feel Absolutely. that way okay Absolutely. i keep Definitely, definitely. Women have an innate sense of knowing how to cook. Every woman has her own unique style of making something delicious. Even the same dish would taste entirely different because it was made by different hands. But at the end of the day, all women innately know how to cook it well. Throughout this experience, we were thrilled to unfold and bridge the gaps that people so firmly believe are constructed by cultural, ethnic, and even religious differences. We found a plethora of common traditions and methods that women, which we now believe from any part of the globe, can relate to on a soul level. Thank you for being here with us today, and we hope you enjoyed this beautiful journey.